Okay, so uh, we've set a route up for the Kalimoto um, GPS or uh, mapping system, and we're comparing it with the. Uh, I've got a BMW Nav 6 on my uh, on my bike, and I'm hoping you can see it there without too much glares. Obviously, there's a. It's really sunny day today. We set this route up to Fistral Beach, which is just near Newquay, so uh, it's about 11 miles away for us. Um, the bizarre thing is that the Garmin is now sending me uh, left at this entrance, and the Kalimoto is sending me right. So I know as soon as I turn right, the Garmin will start working itself out, but there's a mile difference in the two of them at the moment. So they're both set for exactly the same as far as we can within the uh, within the setup. So. Let's see how we get on. There's Mr. David Billington. Part of Magellan Motorcycle Tours. On his new bike. So I've turned right out of the uh, entrance and straight away Garmin has picked up that we're not gone the way we should and it's now recalculated and it's now showing 12 miles uh, to the destination of Fistral as is the Kalimoto. So all this ride is for is just to see if they actually match each other. We should do it. They should do. I mean, you know, how many GPS satellites are there in the sky? So the Kalimoto is quite a, it's quite a, 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 a focused in screen. It's got a turn-by-turn -turn, uh, arrow at the top, you can see. So it's telling me in two miles we need to turn right. Um, it's not as, I would say it's not as accurate as the Garmin one because the Garmin is saying in 1.8 miles you turn right but um, you know it's doing it so what I'm trying to say about the Kalimoto is it is really focused in on quite a, a small scale so it's without having to you know stop and use your fingers to make the, the map bigger or smaller then um, you know this is what this is part of uh, what you're going to get so it's, uh, it's obviously showing the roads perfectly, whereas on my nav, if I can show you that, I can scroll right in and right out using the jockey wheel. And so interestingly, the Garmin does a countdown of 1.4, 1.5, uh, sorry, 1.6, 1.5, 1.4 miles to the turning. The Kalimoto seems to do it in... Um, not in the same way because it was at two miles to the next turning for such a long time and then suddenly she jumped down to 1.3 maybe that's the satellite thing but it's now reading exactly the same as the Garmin 1.2 to the turning um, the difference is on on the Kalimoto you're just getting a right turn on the uh, Garmin it's telling you to turn right at Liskey Hill and I actually think it's trying to put me on a different road to be honest, but we'll see. That's the vagaries of uh, GPSs, unfortunately. Having just spent a while riding around the Austrian and Swiss Alps, I can see that um, I know for a fact that GPSs re read differently, even if they're both loaded on the same day at the same time, depending on where people are. You know, there's a difference of meters. Um, you know, how they actually read the road and all the rest of it. So, but they're really accurate at the same time. Both tell them we've got a. Uh, interestingly, the Kalimoto is saying we've got 11 miles to go, and Garmin is saying we've got 9.9 .9 miles. So there's a little bit of a difference there. I wonder why Gar uh, Kalimoto has changed over. They both give the same entrance uh, uh, arrival time. So coming down into Paraport, what I'm hoping the Kalimoto is going to show me what to do is take me to this little switchback, no it's not a switchback, it's like a chicane in the centre of town and then ride me on from there and I'm hoping that the GPS will do the same. Although it does seem to be a little bit confused, the, the sat nav, the nav 6, it seems to be taking me around the back of the town for some reason, but you know. Here we are on my GPS, it's telling me to turn right and then left. The Kalimoto is just telling me to carry straight on, which is what I would do normally. It's a saving of probably, what, 60 metres, something like that, so it's no big saving. But um, this is the chicane I was telling you about, so we turn right and immediately left here. 
So Garmin has now worked out that's what I'm doing, which is pretty cool. It's done that quite quickly. The Kalimoto was showing me this all the time. But again, it doesn't focus in on the actual junctions. You know, GPS is, as you come to a junction, they power down, uh, uh, scroll down so they, you can see the junction quick, uh, closer. The Kalimoto doesn't do that. It's just giving me a sort of a one dimension, a two, uh, a one dimensional view. I mean, it doesn't scroll in or out. It doesn't change position or anything like that. So we're just coming through Perrinporth now and there's a roundabout at the end where both are saying turn left, which is as we would expect. Now the interesting thing about the Kalimoto, we put, you've got the options to, to have um, curvy roads, windy roads, twisty roads or whatever. And so we put on twisty roads. Now there's a route we can take, which is incredibly twisty, through a place called Cubert and Crantock. And neither GPS's are doing that, taking us that way at all. They're just taking us on a standard road, really, which is a surprise because I thought if they were going to give you the option of, you know, super twisty roads or curvy roads or something, then that would be um, one of the options. So curiously enough, this is telling me to turn, the Kalimoto is saying turn left in 200 uh, feet which is at the roundabout, we're stopped at a set of traffic lights at the moment. I'm wondering if I can turn that to metres, because I struggle with feet sometimes. So doing the turbine turn by turn on the Kalimoto, it's telling me I've got three miles before I make a, a left turn. It's now gone down to two miles. Whereas the Garmin seems to be telling me that in 0.8 of a mile I'm making a turn. So there does seem to be a bit of a discrepancy. And the Kalimoto is clicking down quite slowly in the mileage again. It's just gone to 9 miles where the uh, navigator is telling me that it's 8.5 miles. And the arrival times have changed, they're both exactly the same. Now one is saying I'll get there at 11.50, the other one is saying I'm going to get there at 11.51. It's only a minute, but you'd think if they're both following the same route, which they apparently are, then uh, you can't understand why there's a difference. No, Garmin is telling me that in 0.3 of a mile, there's a turning to the right and basically what it is, is a sharp right hand turn you can either go straight on which is the way that we thought the GPS's would take us or you stay on the main road and take you to a place called Goon Haven. Kalimoto has just shown me that in 1.4 miles I'll be turning left at a roundabout in Goon Haven. so it doesn't consider that this is um, uh, is a serious enough turn to warrant um, speaking about if that makes sense so this is the turning here now where the car's just turned left in front of us. Garmin accepts that this is a sharp bend and we should follow it. Kalimoto doesn't even recognise that, it's just saying here yeah, follow the road. And if I was going to put curvy roads or wind twisty, you know, a twisty route to our destination, I would have gone straight on where that car is because that is a really windy road. So when we first put the route in and said just you know a standard road this was the route we were given the route we're following now which is just you know it's a main road and it is what it is there are some bends on it but it wouldn't say it was you know overly twisty and the Garmin chose this route that we're going on straight away anyway you know because this is the fastest route and the Garmin is set up for fastest the Kalimoto is set up for um, uh, twisty road, twisty roads, yet they've both chosen the same path. So again there's a little discrepancy in distances. We're now seven and a quarter seven and a half miles from our destination according to Garmin. The Kalimoto is actually saying we're eight miles away. But they both agree that at the next junction which is a roundabout we have to turn left.
I've got to admit, when we were loading these uh, these routes on, we, we put a, a GPX file on there, uh, and I've struggled to get it on with, I've got an Apple computer, same as Toby, and he, his has gone on no problem whatsoever. I've had a real problem trying to get mine in, my GPX files going. When I've gone to Tours, which is what you have to do, the page just went blank. It's under there somewhere, I know it's there, I can see it because it initially flicks on, but it's just very strange that you can't actually um, it doesn't actually want to do that. Oh there you go, people blocking roundabouts, that's what you need, isn't it? So we're now on the New Key Road, coming through Goonhaven. And the Cali motor seems to have caught up and is still saying we're seven miles away, but Garmin is saying we're six and a half miles away. Their rival times have matched again, so I'm not sure what, how it all works, really. Curiously, they're now telling that our next junction is a roundabout. Now it's in 4.3 miles, According to Kalimoto, it's five miles. Now, in the centre of the roundabout on the screen, I hope you can see that, you'll see that there's a one which indicates that it's the first turning off the roundabout that we'll be using. Whereas on the Garmin, it just shows you a roundabout and, you know, the arrow where you're coming to do, and then above that, there's text that says, first exit, Trevempa Road. So I'm guessing from what indications I'm getting off the Kalimoto. It's not counting down in points of a mile directly, um, whereas the Garmin is. It's just counting down on one mile uh, increments. And it's telling me I've got, bizarrely enough, six miles to go, whereas the Garmin is telling me I've got 4.7 miles to go. But they're both following exactly the same route, so can't explain that. And strangely enough, the Kalimoto has worked out that it's going to take me a minute longer now than uh, what the Garmin is saying. So the map that's being shown by the Kalimoto is very much a top-down. It's like you're sat on top of your bike riding, um, looking at the map, whereas the Garmin is, uh, has a 2D and 3D effects on it, so you can actually see uh, more of the land in front of you if you want. And because my gloves aren't touch sensitive, I can't actually scroll out on this screen at all. So, our next junction we're coming up to is apparently 0.3 of a mile away, according to Kalimoto. We have a time difference of a minute still before our, in fact, there's now a time difference of two minutes between when Garmin thinks we're going to get there, which is at 11.51. Kalimoto thinks we're going to get there 11.53. Kalimoto thinks now it's two miles away from our destination, whereas the Garmin is saying that it's 2.3 miles. So there's some inconsistencies between the, um, the two systems, and I'm not sure which one I believe more. So this is telling me it's 150 feet to uh, Kalimoto saying 150 feet to the roundabout. Well, I'm not bothered about such a small distance, but the, the difference is that the um, the Garmin is telling me it's only 30 feet. So there's obviously an, an inaccuracy in there somewhere. Whatever that inaccuracy derives from, I, I'm not really sure. So we're now on a, a 20 mile an hour part of the road where they're doing some road works here and the Kalimoto has calculated that at 20 miles an hour we're now going to be uh, it's going to be 11.54 before we get to our destination which is two miles away um, and the navigator is saying that it's going to get there in 11.52 and it's uh, 1.8 miles away, so sometimes they're far apart in distance, and other times they're quite they're quite close. Uh, but their time management is completely out, I think. 
by as much as two minutes on this short journey that was only 11 miles originally. Okay, so we're now 1.7 miles away from our destination. The Kalimoto says we're a mile away. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I told me I'll be a little bit confused now about what I'm doing, but I've pulled off early because the traffic is just going to be horrendous going up and towards Newquay to Fistral Beach. So we're just going to pull off down by the boat and lake. Find somewhere to park in here. And we'll have a quick chat. So, so the fact of the matter is that Garmin has realised that we've turned off the road and we've done something that's not on the GPS and it's now trying to put me back into the right road. Kalimoto hasn't worked it out yet, it's still telling me we are 0.2 of a mile away from the next uh, next uh, junction and a mile away from the destination. Garmin has worked out that it's going to be uh, 2.1 miles putting into a turn in. So, we'll uh, We'll leave it at that then, and um, we'll crack on. <laughs> 